Yo, what's up, fam? DJ Cam in the house. Uh, I know it's been a few days, but I just want to uh, give a big shout out to all my DJs in the local area. Um, I just been busy at the house with um, with projects and other things going on, so I haven't really got on here like I wanted to. But in any event, today is New Year's Eve. Um, currently, it's like nine, ten in the morning, and um, this is what I do. Um, I'm waiting here in the parking lot of Islands for my daughter's mom to drop her off to start, um, you know, our visitation through the new year. So super excited about that. Um, like, I'm sure a lot of people can relate. Um, it's not always a timely manner. Someone's always running late. So in this event, looks like she's like 45 minutes late. But this is what I do. You know what I mean? This is how it is. And... Uh, this is nothing new. Um, there's always a, a reason for it. So at the end of the day, I'm just happy to, to see my daughter and be here to pick her up. And um, you know what I mean? This is a little clip of, of, of my day for the morning. So I'm um, just hanging out. I got my little coffee waiting for her to come through. And um, second she's here, you know, it's going to be good times. We just got her a new bicycle for uh, for Christmas, so she's super pumped on um, riding that. So I'm sure she wants to go off roading and on the grass and the dirt, and she wants to fall a few times. So I know we'll probably be busy do, uh, during the day with that, uh, amongst other things, getting ready for for New Year's Eve. Got some family coming over. We'll probably get a really cool game of of poker. Uh, we've been getting into poker a lot lately, so probably bring the uh the music downstairs and uh to keep it live you know what i mean it got got the setup got the setup ready everything that we need so i might bring it downstairs and then once it's starting to get uh turned up in the house I might do a little little sum sum so to all my people out there i just want to wish you guys a happy new year got big plans for 2018 um, I got some goals aligned um, that I've set in stone uh, specifically as to where I want to take uh, my DJ business. And that's definitely to the next level. So we all know what we have to do. We all know what, you know, what's needed to get to those steps um, in your career. Um, I think it's just following through, executing. And I'm a firm believer in perfect practice makes perfect. So. Um, you know, it's funny. I was watching this uh, YouTube clip the other day as far as motivational speeches. Sometimes I, I need a, I'll be honest with you, I need a little pumper upper. And, and I've been turning to these lately amongst a few buddies at my shop. Shout out to Cove. Shout out to Joey. Um, you know, as far as um, motivational, you know, getting back in the gym, um, taking whatever you're doing in life to the next level. And I stumbled across this one lady, lady, she's really good. And basically, uh, in a nutshell, like when you first wake up, okay, within the first 20 minutes, your frequency is, is different. That creates the, um, I guess, the establishment for positive thinking and great ideas to be manifested. Um, I, I take it because it's so close from just waking up. And when you're sleeping, it's, I guess, you're in a deeper other state so within the first 20 minutes the concepts that you come up with um, are great your frequency as far as thinking are great so I've been doing that first thing in the morning watching motivational speeches on the way into work and whatnot and I, anyways I came across this lady she was really good and she's like basically explaining it's not that we're lazy it's not that we don't know what we need to do because we all know what, what needs to be implemented to make stuff happen, right? We all have this have this subconscious template, which we, we know what needs to be done. We, you guys know when the trash needs to be taken out, when the, folds need to, when the clothes need to be folded, when the dishes need to be washed, when the garage needs to be cleaned, when a project is due and, and it needs to be done. We all know what's going on. More importantly, when that thought enters your brain, do you know what separates the winners from the losers? The one percenters? From the 99 percenters the difference between succeeding and just staying lukewarm within five seconds successful people act on that 
they act on it. So for 18, I'm really, you know, absorbing this thought process, this cognitive thinking. And I mean, my wife loves it. She's blown away. She's all about it. It's so funny. She throws jokes and she's like, well, it's been five seconds. But when you want to do something and the thought enters, you got five seconds, ladies and gentlemen. You got five seconds to jump on it. Right then and there, you decide. Are you going to do it? Yes or no. If you are, get it done. Go after it. Take care of it. You know, I'm a hip hop head from back in the day. My man Exhibit, shout out to X to the Z. I, I rocked you overseas in Germany in my dorm. I, 40 days, 40 nights. I loved your music. You inspired me a lot. You know what I mean? And what he always used to say was handle your business before your business handles you. It's to the X to the Z. So, take care of it when something come, comes across your mind you know you gotta do it stop being lazy you got five seconds to dictate to decide whether it's gonna absorb you or you're gonna handle your business boom take care of it move on to the next and it feels so good it feels so good we all know what we need to do knock it out boom next next task at hand knock it out boom put all that stagnation to the side Put all that, that, that lack thereof to the side. Squash it. Destroy it. Let that inner ability within you come out. You know what I mean? Let it come out. Be the best version of yourself, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what I'm pushing for 2018. That's what I'm about. You know, we're all different individuals. We got different goals. We got different stresses. Don't get me wrong. I go through it. But this is strong here, you know? It's all about character. When you're given that, when you're given that situation, how are you gonna react? You're gonna turn it into a, 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 a negative or a positive? Because you make that decision. You decide whether you're gonna wake up and it's gonna be a flop. Or you know what? I'm gonna turn this into a positive. I'm gonna I'm gonna learn. I don't wanna be here. I'm not feeling it. This is not for me. I'm lazy. I need another cup of coffee. On and on and on. But you know what? At the end of the day, are you going to do it? Are you going to handle your business? Are you going to knock it out? You're going you're gonna to take all that clutter on your table and get rid of it to allow a free space to allow for growth for you personally. And that's what I'm pushing for 18. So for all my DJs out there, because let's bring it back. For all my DJs out there, let's clear our minds. You know what I mean? Let's set our goals straight. Let's realign, you know what I mean? Within the blood of Jesus Christ, the reason why we're here. Yeah, I said it. Within the blood of Jesus Christ, allow that inner working to come out. At whatever you do, at whatever you do, you know? And, and, and yeah, I'm gonna go there. Scripture does say, you know, God wants us to prosper. God wants us to be successful. God. There's nothing wrong with trying to be rich. Nothing wrong with it. He wants us to be successful. You know? It's unfortunately some people, they act funny when they come across money. But that's a different YouTube channel. That's a different discussion. But what I'm saying is go for it. Go for it. Work as if you're working for God. Well, remember those little wristbands? What would Jesus do? They were hot for a little bit? No, I still resort to that. When you're alone... It's called integrity. What would Jesus do? If he was sitting there next to you right now, and you guys are rolling out, and you got you came across a situation, what would he do? What would he be telling you? And you know what that is? Within righteousness, doing the best job you can. And whatever it is. So with that, for 18, that's my mentality. That's what I'm pushing. And I wish everybody luck and willingness to allow that inner self to come out and be revealed so as far as laziness as far as just being in a rut change your thinking take care of it handle it you got five seconds ladies and gentlemen you got five seconds to decide whether you're going to turn it into a positive or it's going to take you out and yeah it's that serious because that's what dictates the winners from the losers with how we live now in society so with that good luck to everybody in 18 once again DJ Cam, I'm out. Peace.